Good evening, Mr. Herrera. This is Francisco Gomez coming at you from my lovely kitchen. Now, today I'm gonna to be talking about those two videos that you sent us. The first one was the rattlesnake video and the second one was the rat temple video. Great videos, very insightful, very informative. Now, the snake video, um, they were Christian and the snakes represented their way of showing people and God that you know they do believe in him. They do believe in, in God. And they do believe that as long as you have full faith and full trust in him, then you won't get harmed with those snakes. They would grab the snakes, hold them up to the sky, start dancing, move them around, you know, really aggravating them. Now, the second video, uh, the rats were the symbol and what they represented were their ancestors reincarnated. Now, they believe that. Um, that if the rats are worshipped, they um, the rats, um, their ancestors or their family members would be reincarnated into a rat, and then eventually that rat would be reincarnated back into a human. And so, um, the snake video they believed that as long as you have faith and trust in God, then no harm would would come to you when it comes to those snakes. They weren't really specific on any other issues besides holding the snake at church. Um, but they, they believe that if you went to church, truly believed in God, devoted yourself to him, then you can hold those snakes up, do whatever you want with them, and it will not bite you. Unless if they did bite you, then it was pretty much saying that um, it was your time to go, according to God. Now, for the second video, um, they believe that the rats were... Um, were reincarnated, uh, were reincarnations of their ancestors. And so they, um, they would, um, worship them. They didn't view them as rodents. They viewed them as their ancestors, as actual people, as gods and goddesses. And so, um, there wasn't any fear in both of the videos. Um, they weren't, it was, it was very much as a, a spiritual emotion, a very prideful emotion, and uh, there was no fear really driving their actions. It was just their love for God. You know, they, um, you know, if you wanted to be around the rat temple, if you wanted to be around those those snakes, you know, you have to love God because um, that's just what they believe in. And if you don't, then it's 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 frowned upon very, very, very much. Um, now. Both of those symbols, they're very extreme, in my opinion. Um, again, my opinion does not really, uh, shouldn't really have that much weigh in on their beliefs and what they go through for rituals and what they and what they worship. Because I worship my own things and whatever someone says, I don't care what they say. It's what I believe in. And they are the same as well, too. So I do respect that. Now, um, for the rattlesnake, um, if you're able to hold up the rattlesnake and um, show no fear and really show everyone that, and including yourself, that you have full devotion and trust into uh, into what they worship, then no harm would come to you, none at all. Same thing goes with the rat. They weren't too. They were not worried about the rats, um, and so. The rats is kind of their way of worshiping a, um i forgot the goddess's name i'm so sorry but of worshiping um their goddess and so um so the rats would scurry around you know they would let the rats do whatever they want and that was their way of worshiping them um, because again they were their um they were once their ancestors um I'm not too sure about the second video, but how would they feel? I know they felt very, they felt very joyous after, but for the rat video before, you know, they were a little bit nervous going into the temple, um, you know, uh, seeing all those rats and stuff, but people that are used to it and have been in there daily, you know, they, they're always enlightened before, during, and after always enlightened, always happy and just joyous that, um, that they're getting to spend time with their with, with their reincarnated ancestors, and so for the snake video, um, there's usually 
maybe a little bit of fear um, before they start doing the ritual, holding the snake up and start dancing. Um, but again, if you're a regular, you've been there before, um, and you're very, very devoted into that religion, there's no fear at all. There's only um, enrichment, enlightenment before, during, and after. Um, obviously, newcomers to both of them, to the Rat Temple and the Snake video, um, obviously, they they would be very skeptical, very fearful. They don't want to do it. Um, but once they do do it, you know, they they feel closer to God and closer to what they believe in. Now, I can't really, um, to me personally, um, it does make sense. It does. There are some things that I normally wouldn't do, but again, who am I to judge? Now, with the snakes, I know that, um, that people just, they weren't scared of them at all, you know, and that's just their way of, uh, of showing God that, and showing others that, hey, I know that God is real and I do believe in him. And this is how much I believe in him. This is what I have to do f um, for my religion in order to prove to myself and others that I do believe in God. Um, for the rat video, um, now, I did do some research on the rat video and I did come across a documentary a documentary and I saw or I read in the in the, um, the text from the excuse me uh doc I can't even say the word documentary that um that back when the bubonic plague was really flailing it was dropping everyone like flies um the people in that temple the priest they will not get sick because the rats there, they were actually all related. They were all family. They were all acquainted with each other. And so any stray random rat that would come in, no, they would kill the rat immediately, which prevented the bubonic plague from ever entering that temple. Now, that's, I think that's the origin of where it comes from, um, that, People saw that the priests weren't getting sick and they were in that temple. So as long as you were in that temple, um, you wouldn't get sick. And so they eventually believed that the rats were gods. And because they would um, they would keep you safe from, from the sickness, it would keep you safe from everything. And so that's what they believe in. And who am I to judge? Um, now, the first one... Um, like I said, it does make sense. The first one, um, to them, it's their way of, because every religion has some type of, uh, has something that other religions view upon as wild, crazy, um, uh, inadequate, unnecessary. But to them, they, you know, under a Bible passage, I'm not too sure which one it was, but it says, um, humans shall handle serpents. And they took that and they took that as if, if I handle a snake, show God my devotion that, Hey, I believe in you. I'm holding this poisonous snake. I'm rattling around dancing and it's not biting me. So I know you're real because I mean, Normally, when you do that, the snake does bite you, but it only they told me that only a few people have died from it. And um, this religion has been around for years, for a long time. And so only a few people have died and um, they keep doing it because that's their way of showing God that, hey, I love you. I have my full trust in you. Now, for the rats, um, like I said, it does make sense. Um, and their, their worship for the rats is just, how is worshiping a rat different from worshiping, uh, worshiping some inanimate object, worshiping someone that doesn't exist, you know, worshiping a different type of animal like cows. How is that different? You know, we, uh, we view, um, Hinduism as uh and buddhism something that is very uh an enlightenment uh an enlightenment full religion and um and so when they when they worship the cows we don't 
we don't judge them. We don't take a second look. We know that. So how is that different from a rat? You know, um, they they put their lives, um, they they would throw down their lives for that rat. The rats are not, um, they're not rodents to, to their eyes. They're gods and goddesses. And so there's no different from worshiping a rat um, to worshiping a cow, no different. They're both animals and they and they have very very special meanings behind them and so that's why you know it's not it's not crazy at all it's not that's that's just what they believe in you know and um it does make sense um because there's no difference you know you worship one thing you can worship another thing it's just if you truly believe it it's real now the snake video um it is illegal uh, to have snakes in churches in Tennessee. So um, that I really don't agree with. Um, but same thing, there are many rituals. Um, like, let's say you are uh, drinking wine from a cup, eating bread. I mean, there's chances that it can kill you. There are. And um, that's just their own very, very special way of showing the world and themselves that um, this is my way of showing God that I trust him, I love him, and I appreciate him. And I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, not like I do see something wrong, um, but it's uh, it's just their way. And if and if that's what they want to do, then hey, I'm all for it. Um, and so both of both of the symbols they were very insightful um and the rap video i did enjoy um because that is something that i can get behind but the snake i will never do that you never catch me holding a snake and start dancing um and so i respect both of those religions very very much um i am starting to become a religious person again excuse me so i do i i do respect those fully uh thank you for taking the time to watch this video and i'm sorry uh if i missed anything or if there's uh or if you have any concerns you know please do not hesitate to let me know um questions anything like that um you know i <clears throat> excuse me i would love to hear back from you um have a good night